This one's kind of cool. You're going to want to stick around for this one. It is a custom lightsaber, a brand new exclusive design from Art Sabers themselves. They designed this whole thing and uh, I'll even show you how to put on the wrap that is included in the box here. Stick around. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. This review is kind of cool because it is a custom designed exclusive lightsaber to Art Sabers. They sent this over for everybody to check out. I was really digging it when I saw it on their website. It was a bit different. It almost looked uh, Polynesian in a, in a sense. Like it was something designed, you know, in the, in the, the jungles or out in Hawaii somewhere. It's got this kind of cool looking wood piece to it and these cool symbols on it. I really, really like this thing. Um, and it comes with everything that you need, a full manual for you to dig through. This is a Profi lightsaber, so all your information about your Profi is right here. It also does come with your standard acrylic stand, which will look something like this when you put it together. So digging down a little further, you do get a plaque with the Art Sabers logo, and on the stand itself, you can pop that right in there. Then we have a set of nice white gloves. These are actually the newer versions of these gloves. So much nicer than the older set we used to get. The other ones were like cheap t-shirt material. These are actually very nice. Then we have a typical blade plug. And uh, in here is actually some important stuff right here. We do have the USB-C charging cable and some extra retention screws. And then you'll see many of you actually may have gotten rings in the past. Um, these are uh, timing shims and I will show you how to use those on this because if you do get this or if you have another lightsaber, um, you may notice that some things aren't lined up correctly uh, because when this did come, it was uh, backwards, I think it was. And uh, the correct way would be to line it up like that into the front. So that's where timing shims come in. And then also included in the package here is a kind of like an orangey brown leather wrap to match that wood kind of finish on here. Um, and I'll show you how to put this on. To do it correctly, you do have to cut a couple pieces. I don't think I've ever done this with the mounting tape here, so that'll be a fun experience to go through. Um, so let's leave that on the side. All right, let's take a look at this lightsaber, because uh, this design I really, really, really like. Uh, we've got uh, a full metal body here. We've got really nice designs, which are fully like etched in there, so you could feel them. But uh, I really dig these designs. And on the other side, it's not wood. This is full aluminum, but the wood grain texture is done so well. That is a beautiful wood paint job. So it does kind of have that really nice earthy feel, almost definitely gives me kind of like Hawaiian tribe vibes, this whole, just the design itself. I could bring this to a luau and I would fit in perfectly with the fire dancers. <laughs> that would be great. Put on the fire blade on this and just start swinging around up there with the fire dancers. Now under the pummel, we do have a fully removable chassis. You have your profi board right there. Um, under there, you could see the SD card a little bit hidden there. Um, and then on the other side, we do have your 18650 battery and your USB charging port right there. Now, when you pop in the chassis back in, it does have some arrows and you're just gonna line that arrow up with the buttons and it should pop right on in there. Okay, so let's address the timing shims because a lot of people don't know what timing shims are. So we do have the ring here, which goes right on top of the button section, just like the bottom one here. We have one that goes right on top. Now this does have two sides. You can see one's kind of grooved in there, right? And the other side is flat. So I found that if you put the groove side in first and you leave the flat side facing up, this is how it worked best for me. Um, simply because if you do the other way, the timing shims are just falling into that groove and they really don't do anything. So you wanna flip this upside down when this came in, it was backwards. You may have seen the uh, short that I put out. It was backwards and it's supposed to be like this. And what timing shims do is they go between your, whatever, whatever it happens to be that you're putting in here. Here it's the actual emitter and the button. So you're gonna put these rings between the emitter and the button here, right? And while you're twisting the threads, what it's gonna do 
is not allow it to go past a certain time, you know, a certain direction. So let's say 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five. So that's, that's why I think they're called timing shims because you clock sections in a certain way. So like these buttons do have to come lined up with the front. So they would be clocked like that. I actually found that using three timing shims worked out perfect. So we're just gonna put it over there, throw that over the threads right on top of the metal uh, copper ring there. And that should allow or not allow the uh, emitter to go past a certain spot. All right, I think, there we go. Now we are locked in. Now if we take those timing shims out, it's gonna keep going and clock itself to the other side. So the timing shims may be very important depending on how the threads are cut in. Now I use three, you may use one, you might have to use five. You know, it just depends on how the threads were cut in to the emitter or the, uh, the handle section here. Now here's an option for you. You could leave it just like this with the metal handle or they did provide a uh, kind of pleather wrap here which we will put on so, so you know how to do that which i'm going to put on right now to show you how to do this um, i haven't done it with this mounting tape before these double-sided tape uh, i usually use contact cement and real leather wraps but let's do this because i want to show you how to do it all with everything that is provided here so one of the key things we're gonna have to do here is give this a trim. So we're gonna have to mock this up and trim that down so that it fits properly and looks correct. So for my wraps, I usually start at the pommel area and I work my way up because I just like the way the loops look in that direction. So uh, it, the, for this, it doesn't really matter. Um, but first thing we're gonna do is kind of mock this up a little bit. Now what I want to do, we're going to cut this on an angle, so I need to mark in and out. Okay, you can see the beginning of the other one right here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little, just a little indication right there of where I'm going to cut. Okay. All right, so here is our mark and here is our start point. All right, and then the next step we have to do is now measure the length of the wrap here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape this side to the top and run it straight down and do the same thing and uh, just kind of get our length that we need. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing here. We wanna mark our in and out, but uh, make sure that you continue your pattern all the way past the pommel area so that your point will be nice and tucked in there. So what we want to do is make our mark here, right about there. Let's see it. I think it's there, yeah. And then you want to move that over and right under the mark that you just made, you're going to make another mark on the wrap underneath it. And that will be our cut mark. Now try to cut just before the pen marks so that the pen marks actually come off in the uh, excess so you don't see them in the wrap itself. All right, so that is that. Now this part's gonna be a little bit tricky for me because I usually use contact cement from here out. Hey, all right, so I'm actually gonna stop right there um, as I'm editing because after I actually filmed everything, I actually filmed the intro to this video outside swinging around. And like I feared, the double-sided tape did not hold the wrap together. So uh, I'm gonna swap around here really quick. We're just gonna move to cementing it down with um, contact cement. Um, I'm gonna kind of do it quick and I'll link a full video on how to wrap your lightsaber at the end of this video and down in the description because really the best way to do it, I think, is with the contact cement. This double-sided tape does not nearly hold on strong enough so you can get contact cement at Home Depot, Amazon, you know, anywhere, every place that's a hobby store. 
um, contact cement is very easy to get and it works really well it cleans up super easy if anything gets on the the leather wrap itself you just grab a wet uh, towel and just kind of wipe it off you can kind of roll it off your fingers and anything that it's it's just super easy to clean up it's not like super glue or anything like that so i truly think if you want to do this right don't even bother with the double-sided tape just go straight out grab yourself contact cement and it's gonna hold beautifully all right here we go let's fire this bad boy up Beautiful. It is again a profi board. It sounds beautiful. We do have twist on and twist off. Now, as always, we do have blaster blocks, flash on clash. We have lock up. And of course, we can change the color for the fonts. Auxiliary and power, and just give a twist. I think we're gonna go for like an orangey yellow color. Yeah, let's go with that. So this is Elemental Nature. You can get this in an RGB starting at 249. SN Pixel, which is the SN V4 at 349 and a Profi version for 449 and I absolutely love this lightsaber. Honestly, I think this is going to go right on the shelf right in front of me here because this is a nice piece to look at. I, I really, really dig this lightsaber. All right, so let me know down in the comments what you think of this beautiful custom lightsaber from Art Sabers. I'll put a direct link down below in the description and a discount code for you to check out. And while you're down there, hit that like button, subscribe, and notification button for upcoming videos. I will see you all on the next video. Be safe and calm out there in the world. See ya.